hello hope you're doing well um apologies for the way that i look i had a bit of a day yesterday and i'm not feeling fantastic today um i've hurt my wrist and i had a migraine so i've got what can only be described as a migraine hangover so apologies if i don't sound as upbeat and cheerful as i usually do but I wanted to come on and let you know how the craft fair on Sunday went. It wasn't fantastic. Um, once again, the organisers said that they'd done lots of advertising and they had done a fair amount, but most of it was online. And the times that they'd put online were different to the times they put on the signs that they put around the area so there's a bit of confusion for the buyers and the sellers we were all like what time are we actually here till none of us none of us knew until we were told you can pack up so oh an hour earlier than than we thought okay but anyway um probably just as well because there wasn't much footfall anyway so i did sell some items um i sold a t-rex for eight pounds two pairs of earrings for three pounds a pop-up mushroom for five, a baby turtle for four, a spider, a black spider, popular, <laughs> for 15, a long neck dinosaur, a pink one, for 10, a grumpy pumpkin, so that's my first Halloween item that I've sold, and um, a dark yellow variation rainbow bee for eight. The grumpy pumpkin was also eight pounds. Paid 20 pounds for my table, so I came away with, let me work it out, um, so in total I took 61, so I came away 41. Not great. I did better last week. Um, but it is what it is. Um, at, at least I made sales. So I can only be thankful for that because, um, the person to the right of me who was selling his wife's books, which looked at like little kids storybooks. They looked beautiful, didn't make any sales. And he was selling um, plushies to go along with them that he'd had made. Um, so like a three little monkeys and a banana that you could zip up and a, bana a banana, a bunny that came out of a carrot. They were gorgeous. If I'd made more money, I would have, I would have bought one. And we had to give a raffle prize as well. So um, I gave a whale, so I was five pound down for that. Um, and then I bought lunch because I'd been too disorganised to make my own. So yeah, it didn't, it, never mind. Um, I got a few bits finished while I was there. So I got my axolotl finished. I got my triceratops finished and I made 90% of a chubby dino that I then, I got all the bits, did I get all the bits done? I think I just had one leg to go. Or did I finish you? I can't remember. Did we finish you? I'm talking to him because he's next to me. But um, either way, I finished him when I got home. Um, and then realised that I'd completely and utterly lost my pincer grip on my left hand. Um, I went to grab a fate that had my dinner on and nearly dropped it. So I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm injured. But anyway, this is, this is the dino. So... They have pink eyes to match their pink frill, and I'm very pleased with him. It's very, very cute. It's very, very chonky. Chonky Dino. Very happy with him. Oh dear. That was good timing because I grimaced at the same time as you fell. I stupidly used the wrong wrist. Oh, please stay still. Oh dear. Um, bear with. You're very precariously balanced. I'm very sorry. Um, I've come back into my corner because it's um slightly better lighting excuse the chaos behind me where we don't don't look at <laughs> that in my yard that's all just been shoved in um excuse me in various uh cubby holes but yeah so banana dinosaur tutti frutti i don't know i like him he's very cute but yeah so um that was sunday saturday i had a all day flu and covid clinic at work um, I managed to duck out to take my son to football. They lost, but they the other team were really, really good. And my son's teams have won every other match they've had this season. So it was 
nice to see them actually have a challenge because the last two matches they found ridiculously easy um which is great but also it's nice to actually like play a game of football so yeah they've only lost 2-0 it could have been very very different they were a really really good team but then my son's team actually did play really really well as well and had a couple of attempts on goal so that was saturday came home made two triceratops or started them they're the ones that i finished on the sunday and i think that's why my wrist went because i literally was using it all day and then carried on on sunday um so yes yeah, so i had work yesterday and they just put me on admin because i i can't well, i can today a bit better but yesterday i couldn't i couldn't do that it's not very easy to take someone's blood if you can't actually use both hands so um yeah they very kindly let me let me do paperwork all day instead um and then obviously i'm off today resting it and we'll see how it is tomorrow if it's still playing up then i'm going to go to the doctor because it's never been this bad before but last week i think i said to you that it got like it cramped and was like that and it's that same kind of it's down did you hear it crack then it's down here that it really really hurts so um like luckily my car's automatic so i only have to go into like drive or reverse but pulling the um gear stick hurts i'm having to use my right hand to get the parking brake off because i can't press the button with that thumb that hurts um and like twisting it hurts so i have no idea i'm pretty sure it's rsi i'm pretty sure it is but like i said it's never been this bad before i've had like mini flare-ups but not to the point where it feels almost like it's stuck like that but i've been trying to do this and obviously i took the um the bandage off when i went to bed which was the majority of yesterday afternoon and last night because i was not feeling very well at all and my brain felt like somebody was trying to drill one like right through here and right through here i've still got a dull ache on this side like behind this eye but um anyway so i took it off um and obviously i slept most of the night it woke me up a couple of times but not as bad as the night before when i was like up at like i don't know three or something for about an hour just like Bleh. but um anyway i'll see how it is tomorrow and if it's still really painful then i will go to the doctor because the last thing i want is to end up with arthritis so i just want to get that um like i said if it still hurts i'll go and get that ruled out um because I, I don't want to go down that road i don't want to make it any worse um because i need my wrists to make stupid things <laughs> and also for work um work priority not not the stupid things <laughs> oh, no, i'm grumpy i'm miserable i'm sorry it's not a very upbeat video and i'm gutted because i was going to try and get seasonal things made and tested this week um i designed four patterns last christmas the christmas before um which are all over on ribbler um for a father christmas an elf a snowman and a reindeer um and i really wanted to get those guys tested um because i have got five markets over the christmas season i think maybe six um i booked another one on sunday <laughs> at a primary school because i figure that is more my sort of um demograph so i'm really looking forward to that one and it's really close as well so it's no fuel to get there really um i know the location i've done a fair there before years and years ago before i started making toys um when i was just doing like hats and scarves and fingerless gloves and blankets um so the venue is really nice it's it's big so um yeah I'm quite looking forward to that's an evening one as well so that'd be different um i've applied for another one but i haven't heard back yet um so I don't know if maybe they're already fully booked. They were asking for vendors, but um, maybe by the time I got around to applying, they, they'd they sold out. Um, yeah, so I really wanted to, to do that. I haven't even got any to show you because um, my mum's got them because I gifted them to her. But they're all about, about this size, maybe slightly smaller. Um, and the 
obviously Father Christmas and the elf have hats. The snowman has a little top hat. And then the reindeer's got a little scarf, um, which I might actually not do thinking about it. The elf has a little scarf as well. I'm just wondering on how I would test that because previously I just tied them on like the ones that my mum has they're just tied on they're not sewn on um so I might I might eliminate the scarves and this is why I wanted to to get them made so I could decide what I wanted to do with them but never mind um I've made all my Christmas earrings I think I think or I've made most of them I think I might have run out of earrings again I can't remember um but yeah um October's nearly over, so it is time to unfortunately think about the C word. Um, but next weekend I have no events, we've only got Jake's football, so we are going to have a Halloween weekend, which I'm really looking forward to. So we're going to take the kids pumpkin picking um, after Jake's match, and I'll make some Halloween style food, and we'll sit and we'll watch a couple of movies, and we'll just have a really nice cosy weekend get the house decorated um and just settle in and then it's half term um the week after so it's a it's a nice little transition into half term and i actually have the monday off so i've got a four day weekend which will be really lovely um and then i'm taking the kids out with a friend on the thursday we're going to go to a place in plymouth called adrenaline which is basically like a trampoline park um so yeah that is what's coming up. So last craft fair of October is Saturday. Luckily, because I didn't sell anything <laughs> on Sunday, I've got plenty of stock. But I really would have liked to have got a, a black spider remade. It was actually that was that's my story of the craft fair. I always have a little story, don't I? And again, it's about the black spider. So there were these lovely vendors um, that were behind me who were selling the most gorgeous gorgeous items so I've actually done a craft fair with one of them about five years ago at my son's school and she sells felted animals specifically felted birds and they are they're faultless they're absolutely gorgeous I wish I'd got a picture of them um I don't even know what her trader name is but if I find out I will I will link it but her, honestly her stuff is just absolutely stunning um and her friend was selling um glass pumpkins again absolutely beautiful but i didn't make enough money to justify buying one because if i had i would have they were just absolutely gorgeous but i would have spent all my profit on them they were they were well priced but they were pricey um understandably because like i said they were absolutely stunning and totally worth the price i just couldn't justify it for me sorry my nose I don't have a tissue. Um, anyway, I just couldn't justify it for me on that day. But um, they came over. So the, the lady that had been doing the pumpkins came round first and was looking at everybody's stalls. And she was stopped and she was playing with the um, pop-up mushrooms. Um, and then she, she left and she came back, I don't know, like half an hour later with her friend. And they were at my stall for quite a while. And they were back and forthing, back and forthing. And she was like, I just had to show you the mushrooms because I thought you'd really like them. She said, I do, I do really like them. They're very, very cute. Um, so she ended up buying a mushroom and a turtle with the intention of giving the mushroom to her friend. Um, and then she was loving on my spiders. And I only had two out because I didn't have enough room to put all four of them out. So I had the purple and the grey one out. And she was like, they're just so... They're just so cute. I know they're one of they're one of my favourite items. I know Lainey, I know you hate them. <laughs> and I did maybe attack Lainey with one on Sunday because it was funny. But um <laughs> she she was like, Oh, I just I just really like them. I went, oh, I've got a black one under the table. I just don't have room to put it out. Do you want to see it? And she's like, Oh my god, yes, please. So I pulled it out and it's got purple eyes and she has purple in her hair. <laughs> and she literally just instantly, and I do mean instantly fell in love with it grabbed it started loving on it and like stroking it and be like oh my god and her friend was going it's made for you it's it's destined like you need to have this spider 
and she was just still there laughing on it she went how about i buy it for you for your christmas present she said, but i get it now she said no 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 you get it for christmas no 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 i get it now <laughs> They went back and forth for a bit, but anyway, she ended up buying it for her. And she was like, you can sit <laughs> and you can have it on your lap. But at the end of the day, I'm taking it back and you're having it for Christmas. It was very funny. It was, they were lovely. They were really, really sweet. But yeah, so that spider was meant to go to that lady. Absolutely, absolutely destined. Um, yeah, so that was... I love it. I love how my spiders are finding their people. Um... But yeah, like I said, I would have really liked to have got another one done because I have no black spiders now. Um, but lesson learned for next year or just going forward, black spiders, they're the most popular ones. I guess because they look the most realistic. I don't know. <laughs> I love them. I would take them everywhere with me. But I was very tempted just to walk around the craft fair holding one like a pet. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go because my nose is now running my head feels very very heavy and I need to take some painkillers for my wrist but I hope you've all had a really good weekend if you did a craft fair do let me know how it went hopefully better than mine um and I will hopefully talk to you on Thursday hopefully with something made doubt it but you never know we'll see anyway take care bye <laughs>